someone asked me not long ago saying, what was it like in academies, being in it from eight, nine years old? Mm. And I'll tell you, man, it was hell, man. Mm -hmm. Like, thinking back of it now, back about it now, like I remember, even this, this is just one little snippet of it, yeah? I remember I was in year eight. Mm. I had a rough day. You know, we had them rough days in school. <laughs> yeah. I lost my munch, lunch money early. <laughs> so my belly was crumbling all day. And then I banged into a year 11. Um, bumped into a year 11, sorry. And um, I got tump up at lunch. Mm. So, <laughs> but I wasn't the biggest kid. Yeah. Uh, I got tump up at lunch. Um, I remember I got detention. And I think I got dropped down a set in maths. <laughs> so it was just one of them days. Yeah, it was just yeah, a horrible... Yeah, the, I remember the day, the day. It was horrible. Yeah, the day, boy. And I remember just being in referral, like... This day is long. Mm -hmm. And then I, I remember I had to... Call my parents were strict. I had to be home before, like, 3.45. What time was school finish finish? at 3. <laughs> so you had the 45 minutes to rush. So I had, I had half an hour detention. So I had 50 minutes to breathe from my school <laughs> home. Or it was a long day. Yeah. Because I had to go to football. So anyway, I got in. Anyway, come in. Remember, I've gone to Arsenal mm. training. Mum's taking me. Um, I forgot my boots. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I've had to get boots out of the cupboard. Like, you know, the people yeah, have to get their boots yeah, yeah. out everyone looking and got boots mm -hmm. on. I tried to sneak past my mum. They're like, they're not your boots. <laughs> so it's like, cool. So anyway, come in. Ready, ready to start goalkeeper training. And then I see one. Brother coming in the cage. It's like, what the hell? Mm. It was like six foot two. Oh, yeah. Like, you can see the beard starting to grow. <laughs> Whatever. And the cage manager goes, oh, Cookie. This is a... I forgot his name, whatever. Mm. He's from Romania. Oh, He's boy. in your age group. He's goalkeeper. <laughs> Show him around. Uh, I was like, can this day not get any worse? <laughs> So why the hell are Arsenal bringing the youth from Romania at f I'm 13 years old? Yeah. Like, I don't need this. Mm. Then I still have to go home and do homework. <laughs> yeah, but that had to be done by before you go to school. school in the yeah, morning. Yeah. I'm thinking, this is hell, man. Mm. But people don't like see them things. They just think it's a like an easy little ride easy through. Path. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's, it's not. It's not because from my academy times at Crystal Palace, eight nine they were fun. When I hit like ten, I had a who was my academy co I had a coach at about under 10s who I don't think I got along with well yeah so that was my first kind of setback mm -hmm. um, from playing all the time to not well from playing still playing all the time to just you know in and out in and out you know I was one of the smaller boys at the time yeah so you know that was a case of factor and then throughout the age groups under 11s under 12s under 13s I was probably the main player near enough in my age group so I'd be playing with the year aboves Mm -hmm. which was then another test because you got to now prove yourself to them. Um, and there was, there was loads of hardships along the way, bro. It's just little things. You learn from early, the coach is not liking you. Then the players resent you to yeah. a certain extent. Of course. Because, you're doing um, well. You're doing well. Then you go Nike Cup, you get the Nike deal. Then yeah. the, then there, you get what I mean. Then there, then that's happening. And you're trying to hide the fact that you've got something from mm -hmm. everyone else. else yeah. You get what I mean? And it's a case of... You don't know where Wait, to Wait, hold on. Look. You got the night, though? I got something. Well, that's nice, man. I'm trying my hardest <laughs> to get one of them, man, I think. Yeah, that was when I was 15. Um, <laughs> I only got that when I was, what? 19, 20? Oh, yeah, yeah. When I, I was late, I, man. Yeah, when I was young, this, the stuff was coming in abundance, to be fair. That was, yeah. that was having good conversations. Um, that's what I mean to about the nice things. If I kept half the stuff that I was given from, like, mm -hmm. about handing it away, being a nice person, being, yeah, you can have these, you have these. Boy, I'd probably be a rich man on Vinted right now. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm there to be handed away. I remember I got what? Like six pairs of magisters. Mm. I was like, I'm not going to wear all six pairs of magisters. Oh, just handed like away. This. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was me, to be fair. Because to be fair, you know what? Yeah. I wasn't wearing real boots until companies started to give me products. Yeah. I was going, my, my, I was going, sport, I was running sports directings, the 30 pound, 40 pound yeah. things for a long time. And I was comfortable in them. I was just like, bro, oh, these, you got good. See, these are my that because you was at Palace. At Arsenal, it was cutthroat. If you come in with fake boots, <laughs> them man were on you, bro. It was like, it was actually a bully. It was generally bullying. I remember all the men in my age group as well. I'm, this one's for them like that. Them man were generally bullies, bro. Mm. But I remember I first walked in Crocs. 
Yo, the cooking I got when I wore my Crocs for the first time. <laughs> them, man. Oh, I no, I love all of them. Cause they all like brothers, man. Like, mm. good good guys. But you couldn't come in any funky, like, Degga Degga game, man. No, no, of course not. My dad bought me some blazers one time. Some black <laughs> and red blazers. Black and red blazers. <laughs> for uh, Arsenal colours. I don't know what, oh, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking, right? <laughs> but then these blazers had... But these blazers were from the barbershop. Oh. So he bought me barbershop crap. Oh, when they had them in the, the, the cabinet. Jeez. The glass of cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I had them running this shop. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the hats <laughs> and the CDs. <laughs> Jacob, when I walk them in and I walk them in, yeah. It was one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> when I tell you, every age group came down to have a look <laughs> at the trainers. And we're like, what in the flying fuck are those, bro? I could do <laughs> I could only imagine. It was like when I... <laughs> Oh, oh what's happened to barbershops? That might, go, that might be in a section of another episode because we're having to, to that culture where you can buy trainers <laughs> in the barbershop. <laughs> you can buy anything in a barbershop. Oh, in that glass cabinet, the barbershop used to have some things, boy. Boy. They would sell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff that we used to have disappeared, though, you know? Just Pirate like, DVDs. Yeah, like the low keys. Just, it's just got like being brushed over, bro. Yeah, man. So you slowly like... I remember when I remember when my good good man used to come into the shop and sell me the sell me the pirate copy DVDs. I used to get free for a tenner yeah. and go home and watch my movie. Some yeah. t- and hoping for the best. Hope, that's what he did was hope. Hoping for one the day best. you might see him and just like those were ducking. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day is a pure HD yeah. new yeah. version. Oh man, oh what a time! Oh, that's crazy. What a man. time to be alive. But now I remember them days, man. Them days were the good days. The, as much as like you get cussed for certain things and this and that, those were the better days of your football career. Correct. Uh, it's definitely character building. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You wouldn't be who you are today if it wasn't for those times at Correct. Arsenal with my times at Palace, getting cussed for wearing A6. Now the whole world's wearing A6. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Um, j- just the general, just the general things yeah. that happened on tours. We go on tours. The madness Best would happen ever, on man. tours. If I tell my stories from tours, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've heard some of them. <laughs> yeah. But nah, th- those would be, those were the days. And, you know, you cherish them forever because you actually build bonds and friendships just through those moments. Of course. Like I meet people now or people see me now and they're like, oh, I remember that time. And I'm like, yeah, bro. Like I can never forget those times. Yeah. Even to the time where I'll tell you another one. We went on tour, yeah. And we went to Italy mm. and I did really well. And... So by the leading tower of Pisa or whatever, mm-hmm. I'm there chilling, doing the picture, you know, the little, yeah, the yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, doing the hit thing. We're in our Arsenal track seats and one guy comes up to me and was like, oh, do you want to buy a watch? And I, 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 I don't have money for the watch. You know the time I was talking about? Mm-hmm. It's like Brightling, whatever. Yeah. I was like, I really like this Brightling watch. <laughs> <laughs> so the academy manager did really well in the tournament, like played really, really well. It was like, oh, Cookie, what are you looking at? I said, oh. Now I'm just looking at his watch, down enough money, he bought me and goes, oh, that's for doing really well. Mm. Probably cost me about 20, like 30 euros. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Some of my Brighton thing. I'm there bringing it off saying, ah, oh, the academy manager bought me, yeah, <laughs> doing really well, yeah. whatever. Wait a minute, by the time I got to the airport, blood, the thing stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. But when I told you I was wearing that watch everywhere, just saying the academy manager bought it for me, make everyone at the club jealous. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, can you then bought me this? Brightlin. Mm-hmm. I remember it was a Brightlin as well, and they put me this Brightlin. Or the, even the parents were like, oh my God. You know, like, know the rumors start, like, oh my God, I didn't pay for Reese Brightlin, blah, blah. Because mm. you know the run the rumors start spreading yeah. around the parents. Parents are the worst gossip person in the play. Bro. Parents are horrible. Bro, in, in academies. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. There's always parent groups as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, know, you know where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stand together on yeah, the yeah. weekend. And you know when a player's not good because their parents just sit there like, this is deep. Yep. You're like, when, you're, when your kid's good, like, you're, are you, you know you you're such Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. the parents are all together. They're all love. You hear them parents crease that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one parent that'll be over there just 
spot outside in the background with his one little chair stool yeah, over there. He wants to be kicked. He's <laughs> just like this. <laughs> and he leaves quick after the game. Quick. Straight to the car. He's distancing some Meet me at the car. Me the yeah, car. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, nah, I remember, I remember everyone started talking and then I remember he called me and he goes, Reese, everyone said I bought you a Brighton watch. Like, what have you been telling people? I said, I said, no, nah, like, you help me get this. Mm. And he's like, it's a fake watch. He goes, you can't be telling people I bought you a Brighton because that was <laughs> yeah, a Brighton yeah, cost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, that was like, just one of the stories for kind of which is hilarious because yeah. I remember to this day, man. No, the parents, the parents, will, I think, the, do you know what's about <laughs> jokes? I think parents will have funnier stories then the kids. 100%. Because they were doing madness. I remember one time that um, Jamal Halep Mundo, his dad was on the sideline playing reggae music. <laughs> uh, the he was playing reggae music, yeah. And then my dad come to him and said, yeah, next week bring some new tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over and said, what is going on on the sidelines of these games? <laughs> this is... We're, this, we're not at Sunday League, bro. We're in academy football. <laughs> we're under 16s, you yeah. know? Like, bro, when this is a full-on... We're on our way to being professionals. How and I'm it? on the sidelines here, reggae music. No, it's bad. I was just crying with laughter, man. Like, it, it, it was a time. A time that you'll never, ever forget. What a life. 